Hey everybody, Kyle Gingrass here, Vineyard Manager for Epic Wines. Uh, today is April 17th, 2018. I'm out at the estate uh, Potoreski Vineyard. Hopefully you can get a good view of what you see behind me here. Um, today I just wanted to introduce everybody to a little video series that hopefully will become kind of a recurring part of um, our blog page or vlog page here at Epic. Um, and it's something that we're going to call Vineyard Talks. So hopefully it can, uh, through this videos, bring everybody out here and uh, let everybody experience pieces of the vineyard throughout the different times of the year. So as you can see behind me here, as I'm walking down this, this block of Syrah here, uh, we've definitely had bud break at this point. Um, you can see all the kind of lime green colored vines that are growing here behind me. Um, but actually something that we wanted to talk about today was all the stuff that was going on out in the vineyard before we've had bud break or during the, the dormancy season of the vines. Um, you know, for the majority part of it, you would think that the vineyard's pretty quiet, but there's actually uh, a tremendous amount of things going on um, under our feet, actually. Uh, so today, hopefully we can kind of introduce to you our cover cropping program and talk about some of the key um, factors that we use that for and what goes into that. So during our, our winter months out in the vineyard when the, when the vines are in uh, dormancy, um, or what we would call our rainy season, it's kind of hard to call winter here on the central coast. Um, but what's happening is, is a good opportunity for us to really build our, our soil health out in the vineyard and two of the main ways that we do that is through our composting program and our cover cropping program. And so what happens is after harvest is completed, um, that's when we really focus our energies towards our soil and, and we um, get our compost that we make here on site and spread it out between the vines and then make a light tilling pass through the vineyard rows to incorporate that compost into the ground. But what happens is with that light tilling pass, you kind of leave your soil bare for the first rains of the season. So what we immediately do after that is uh, seed our cover crop. So when we're talking cover cropping, uh, there's really three main reasons why we have chosen to uh, seed cover crop. Um, and the first big reason is erosion control. Uh, meaning that we want to protect our hillsides from losing any uh, soil that could run off during um, our rain events during the winter season. The, the second main reason for cover cropping uh, is nitrogen fixation. And nitrogen fixation, um, we'll talk about in a little bit, but is, uh, is a big component of two of the crops that we're choosing to have in our cover crop blend. And then the third and final kind of main reason uh, for cover cropping is organic matter. And again, uh, later on in the, in the video, we'll expand on that. And what we're using for our cover crop blend uh, is a mix actually. So the first component is a, is a barley grass. And then we also include uh, sweet peas and fava beans or bell beans. <laughs> All right, so as I mentioned, we use a cover crop uh, seed mix, which includes uh, barley grass, uh, sweet pea, and fava beans, or bell beans, they're sometimes called. So hopefully as I walk up this vine row here, I can point out uh, what is what. So we're gonna kinda zoom in here to a spot, and this right here is our barley grass, and it's actually coming to seed, so you can kind of see those barley seeds in there in that little tuft. Um, and what uh, is great about the barley grass is it's pretty quick to uh, germinate after a rainfall and sets its roots in quickly to help so hold that soil in place for the erosion issues I was mentioning. Uh, but it also uh, is a great growing stock. It puts out these big broad blades of grass leaves. You can see that right there. Um, and what's nice about having these big broad leaves is that when we eventually do come to mowing down the cover crop, um, it, it ends up putting a huge amount of organic matter um, and a big carbon source uh, to the soil to balance out any nitrogen additions from the compost that we're adding the next season. Uh, so that's the barley grass here and as we keep walking, we'll come into some sweet pea 
zones, and that's these guys right here. Um, it's, a, it's quite a pretty plant. And uh, the other seed that we have is the fava bean, or the bell bean. And here's one hiding right in here. And that's this guy here. So not too dissimilar from the sweet pea, but it's more of a, of a stocky kind of single shoot where the sweet pea has these like side branches and tendrils off of it. Uh, but what's important about those two, the sweet pea and the fava bean, is that they're part of the legume family. And I'm going to turn the camera around here, I think. Okay, so I was able to get the camera turned around now. Um, so anyway, I wanted to talk about the, the bell beans and the sweet pea for a minute. And those things are really important for our mix because they're part of the, the legume family. And legumes have this unique ability to form a symbiotic relationship with uh, bacteria that are present in our soil. And these bacteria form these little nodules on their root systems. And as the, the leaves of the legume plant are pulling in um, carbon dioxide and uh, nitrogen from our atmosphere, those bacteria are able to take the nitrogen that the plant is pulling in from the atmosphere and actually fix it into the soil in a form that's readily available as a nutrient for uptake by our grapevines. So it's kind of a, a unique uh, situation that the legumes bring, but we really wanted to, to, to plant something like that here because if we're gonna go ahead and seed for erosion control issues, we might as well pick some plants that also have another benefit and these ones having that added nutrient benefit uh, for our soil building program. And so since they're fixing all this nitrogen into the soil, what's important on our end uh, from a vineyard management aspect is to pay attention to their life cycle as a plant because they obviously have a crop that they're trying to produce which would be the pea or the beans and when they start to flower and want to make their seed they're going to start pulling that nitrogen back up out of the soil but we want it to stay in there for the grapevine so at that point of seeing those plants start to flower is generally when we say okay it's time to go mow our cover crop down so we can save that nitrogen in the soil. Plus, again, we create a bunch of organic matter um, or carbon source by mowing it down and letting it dry out and doing what we call a, a field compost, if you will, um, which will help benefit us later on in the season. Okay, so I just took a plug of soil out with a shovel because I wanted to kind of show you um, what kind of root systems these cover crops are developing during our rainy months. Um, and I'll just kind of, I kind of already shook out most of the soil, but you can see from just one little shovel how much root material is being put into the ground by these cover crops. Um, and so what's important to point that out is that when we do come time to mow the cover crops down, um, yes, the plants will obviously end up dying and drying out uh, just because of the time of the year and being mown and such. But what happens is all that root material that's left in the soil becomes a, a great, enormous amount of organic matter um, for all the rest of the biology that's present in the soil, the bacteria and the fun fungi. And what they're going to do is decompose this organic matter, these root systems, down into uh, to humus. And that humus... Um, is super important because it's responsible to help build our soil structure and our uh, soil porosity to help hold um, water into the soil and then also be kind of an exchange site for nutrients for our grapevines. So super, super important uh, stuff going on underneath the soil. The other thing I wanted to point out, see if I can tease it apart here. Um, here's um, a small root system uh, just because it's a small plant here of one of the bell beans. But hopefully we can get zoomed in fairly close here because I wanted to show you the little nodules that are created um, by these bacteria on these legume root systems that fixate nitrogen. So if you can kind of look right there on the tip of my thumb, you'll see those little bumps. They're kind of 
pinkish, if you will. Um, and that pink color indicates that they're actually working and fixing uh, nitrogen in the soil. And so if you kind of look up and down, they're, they're kind of spread out nicely on this, on this root system. Um, they're not super big, but they're there. Let's see what else we can find. Here's a, I'm teasing out a little sweet pea root system here, if I can. And you can see that they're, those nodules are, again, clustered up here, kind of by my thumb there, doing their thing. Beautiful. And with that, you all now know way more than you ever wanted to on cover cropping out in the vineyard. But in all seriousness, I really want to thank you all for joining our vineyard talk today. I look very, very much forward to hosting another one here in the near future. Cheers, y'all. Thank you.